Happy Friday, Crossroads family. My name is Keegan, coming to you with the daily devotion for Friday. And Crossroads is currently wrapping up its sermon series this past Sunday of Jesus' will. And it was uh, Pentecost Sunday, last Sunday, so the message was on Jesus' will empower us by the power of his Holy Spirit. Pentecost being uh, a tradition that Christians celebrate seven Sundays after Easter, um, celebrating after Jesus died, resurrects, and then he ascends back into heaven. Then the Holy Spirit descended from heaven um, and into believers where they were all speaking in tongues and they could all understand each other. Um, and the body of Christ was edified and built up through that. Um, so the verse comes from Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me wherever, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So this past Sunday, the message was from Pastor Jeremiah Ledeen, and it was a blessing to hear him preach as he was my youth pastor growing up at Crossroads. And um, obviously I'm not in Lakeville anymore. I didn't get to see him personally. Um, I just watch online, um, being over in upstate New York now. Um, but it was just a blessing to hear him preach again uh, back at Crossroads uh, because I've heard him preach so many times growing up as a youth. Um, and it was a blessing to hear him share the message. And the thing that stuck out to me the most was the changes in God's kingdom, he said, are not always so sudden. And the evidence of his kingdom is not always so obvious. So when we think of Pentecost Sunday, it's pretty obvious of display of God's power through the Holy Spirit. <laughs> um, people from all over were speaking in tongues where they could understand each other. Um, and that's a pretty big display of God's power. And there's still things like that today. Um, you know, there's big revivals um, that uh, different ministries put on, uh, different big church conferences. And I, I think those are pretty displays of God's power, if you will. Um, but I oftentimes am encouraged most, um, just like Pastor uh, Jeremiah said, he said, the evidence of his kingdom is not always so obvious. It's usually um, displaying the fruits of the Spirit. When we have the Holy Spirit that lives inside of, inside of, of, inside of us, we are able to display these fruits: love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And that's rare today. It's rare. And I, I don't say that as a discouragement, but to encourage us as believers to be his witnesses when we display these fruits. It says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses. Not power of rank, of a position that you might hold at work or the people you're in charge of or power of um, any other sort of power. It's power of the Holy Spirit. When we're able to display self-control how rare is that today? How often do people act out in anger and impatience? Do we see people acting and displaying patience, displaying self-control, gentleness? I think oftentimes myself in the military culture, it is a rarity and it's an encouragement when we see people acting with the power of the Holy Spirit. And I think that is the best way that we can display and be a good witness to God. Not in these big, exceptional, ordinary ways of speaking in tongues. I personally do not have the spiritual gift of speaking in tongues, though that is biblical and specifically the Pentecostal church today does that. Um, and I think it's important to make sure you also have someone with the spiritual gift of interpretation of tongues uh, so that it builds up the body of Christ and edifies it. Um, though um, using that gift is important and that can be used, I think, just like I said, when we display those fruits, that's the best way we can be God's witnesses. Not these big displays of God's power and looking holy and church-like, but just that 
displaying his fruits in the day-to-day -day tasks of life. Just the Holy Spirit enabling us to say yes to the things of God and the daily obedience of following him and the Holy Spirit giving us the courage and boldness to say no to the things of the world, of the flesh, and our sinful nature. I wanted to share a story before I wrap up the devotion. Um, one of my really good friends here in New York, uh, he's just a brother, he's another um, off, army officer as well. He's a part of my church family and we got connected with uh, two other people from church and um, both of them are younger teenagers and um, they come from very rough family backgrounds. Uh, their socialization process was tough. Um, a lot of addiction in their family and um, one of the teenagers, he um, struggled with drugs growing up um, and um, a lot of anger and whatnot. And my buddy, uh, he has a garage in his gym and we just figured, hey, come over, let's go work out. Uh, we'll put it in the battle rhythm, if you will. That's in the military, a weekly battle rhythm or once a month or every other week, we get together with them, work out, and then we cook them dinner and we do small group and we study, we'd share our highs and lows, pray together and then we'd study God's word. And um, it was a blessing doing that and as we continue to do that. But through this process, um, he completely changed, completely. But it wasn't right away. It was over time, over these months. I have a friend, they say, how often do we disciple people to salvation? Oftentimes we think of once people are saved, then we want to disciple them to grow in their sanctification process. But how often do we disciple people to salvation? This friend now, he's completely sober, done with drugs. Um, the mental um, issues he was battling with, he was in a um, psychiatric hospital um, for healing um, because of the things that were going on uh, with his mental health um, and um, just his mental health. Um, he has completely changed. He's accepted Christ. He has lost 20 pounds and he's completely changed by Christ and it's evidence. He has a job now, two jobs. He has a chicken business that he runs and then he's also working now at a garden place. And though he still struggles with uh, some of his past um, issues and his mental health uh, because of the brokenness that was in his life, he's been changed and it's so evident that the Holy evident that the Holy Spirit lives inside of him. But it didn't happen overnight. It started with him, just small acts of obedience, saying, yes, I will come and work out. Yes, I, I will come and do Bible study with you guys and hang out with you guys. And over time, his life is completely changed because of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. But it didn't happen overnight. It's hard. Healing is hard, but it happened, and it's amazing to see that. And I'm sorry that this devotion went long, but I wanted to share that because, again, following Jesus is in, in the power of the Holy Spirit. It's an ongoing process, um, but to see that evidence in his life is such a blessing, and to see how the power of the Holy Spirit gives him the power uh, to be his witness now. So have a blessed Friday, everyone. Take care.